this new season of my life is going to be called Unaccessible. Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we are doing a lot kind of? I don't know. So today I wanted to start packing for several trips. I got a lot of clothes from Fashion Nova and I am going to be packing. A lot been going on lately. Um, right now as I'm recording this, I am on my one week hiatus. As y'all know, I have been on a 90 day cleanse and that cleanse is up April 3rd and today is March 30th. I decided to go on a cleanse for an entire week well, I don't talk to nobody. The only person I've been talking to is my videographer um, and my daughter. So, the videographer slash photographer for my commercial that should be dropping soon. So, during this break, I've really just been talking to God. I've been reading, um, journaling, uh, both manifestation and emotional. Um, it feels weird to talk because I haven't talked a lot. Like, I don't know why it feels so weird to talk. But um, I have realized a lot of stuff that I've been doing in this regard and not only like um, good habits, but like bad habits. Um, stuff that I basically started doing to replace my bad habits that's even better. Like I used to bite my nails a lot. So I've been trying to keep on press on. I know these super freaking ugly, unless I think they're cute. But I've been keeping on press on because I was biting at my nails a lot. Um, I was biting at my lips a lot too. Like... I was biting at my lips really bad because I couldn't bite my nails. And then I noticed, I was like, oh shit, I gotta stop. I fucking burned my tongue on a hot ass omelet. So now I got like this little lot bump. And this is a lot going on. But I've been having a lot of talks with a guy um, recently. And I have just, yeah. I asked God to show me how he viewed me. And you know, that's like the most major um, question you're gonna ask. I saw that on TikTok, a girl asked God to show her how he view her. And I, I've said the, uh, I said it before, I think like probably like a month and um, a month and a half ago. I think it was in February. But instead of me like going to sleep and letting God show me, I literally started breaking down. It's like, hey, I actually know what my problem is. Sorry, I didn't even know what my problem was. <laughs> so this week, um, I cut off communication, phone been on airport mode since. Monday, um, the 30th, 30th, 29th, 28th, 27th, 26th, bitch, I don't even know, still, I just lost count. So probably like 20, whatever last Monday was, okay? So my, um, seven day, um, hiatus is from Monday to Sunday. I can only, like, post business stuff, content that, like, has to do around, like, you know, promotion, making money. Um, but I can't read comments, I can't, um, check DMs, um, I can't do anything like that, of that nature, whatever. So I've been really talking to God. So that Monday, that Monday night, or technically that Sunday night, um, no, it was that Monday night, sorry. That Monday night, it was also a full moon. So that's when I took my full moon bath. I posted that video. Um, and that was the first time I did that. But that night, I asked God to show me how he view me. When I tell y'all, I haven't gotten a day's rest since. And I, I'm, I haven't been tired, but every night since Monday, I have waken up in the middle of the night between 3 a.m., and 5 a.m. And we all know when you do that, you need to pray. So I was praying every night. And I would have dreams. Some I remember, some I don't. And I was like, okay, maybe the guy's trying to tell me this. But I couldn't get the picture in my head because I was forgetting about the dream and stuff like that. Then I had this one dream that it wasn't even about me in a sense. And I still can't, like, correlate what this dream was. But it really, really wasn't about me. It was about, um, it was about, like, Friends, like friends that I love, a family member that I haven't talked to that was dating my friend. It was really fucking weird. A cousin that I um always around. So I was it was just it was just a very weird dream, right? But then today is Saturday and the dream I had last night, everything else has been like kind of sporadic. Like I can tell what I was supposed to learn um in the dreams, but the one I had last night, the one I had last night showed me that I care a lot about vengeance. I have a problem with, bitch. I have a problem with wanting revenge when someone wrongs me. And I'm not gonna tell y'all exactly what happened in my dream because it's like, why the fuck was those people like, the people that like wronged me or like snakes or like, yeah, it was just a lot. I, yeah, I cannot 
like describe this dream because it was so like it was like why are these people here but then the people that um like had stolen from me but i was still trying to be friendly to they had um came into my house and i let them in knowing what they wanted even though but i was still trying to like manipulate the situation to where i would come out on top even though like they've already shown that they can't be trusted like it was it's people that i feel like are imposters and y'all it's crazy because y'all even know these people like it's people that i feel like are imposters to the community to what they do and they were in my dream as imposters but even though i knew they was imposters i still let them in because in my hopes of changing them or changing their perception so they cannot be fraudulent or fake towards me so i tried to manipulate the situation to get them to basically see my point of view I, basically the fact that i'm too fucking friendly i'm too friendly god shows me exactly who people are and i still give benefit of the doubt like a dumbass and i'll be wondering why situations turn out how they do I also was shown how I overgive. I overgive to um, certain people, certain situations, and then I'd be disappointed. Then I want revenge for those things when I don't get the same back in return. You know, you're not supposed to do things to get things back in return, but apparently that's what I do. I know that's not good. I, I yeah, I, I learned this all last night in my dream. I didn't look at my life as a cold dependent situation and as much as i want to go to therapy about this i feel like right now i just need god and i actually am never going to go to therapy again after this i feel like even going to therapy like one of the dream one of the dreams was like a little session i feel like going to therapy and because i have known her for so long i used to be happy that i've known her for so long this therapist for so long but i'm such a different person than i was from 2017 that I cannot continue to our relationship. Like we lowkey have a relationship now. Like we're, we're we lowkey have a, a a type of relationship. What I learned in my dream last night, I feel like is going to be what changes me as a person, as a mom, as a friend, as a lover. Everything I want to be in a, as, as a woman, I feel like the dream last night changed everything. I talked to God. Like, I don't, I don't think I went to sleep until like probably 7 in the morning. I woke up around 3. I probably didn't go to sleep until 7 in the morning. I'm talking to God. Like, and I'm just like, wow. Like, what the fudge? Like, I never knew I was this person that, like, in a sense, want people to need them in a way. Not in a sense of like, if I give you this, I'm gonna take that shit back. Like not in that sense, but like, I'm doing all these nice things for you because I love you and care about you unconditionally. So when it's my turn, if, if you can and you decide not to, or if you decide to do something else, instead of being there for me, I take it as a fuck me. But in my past, I've like, I've learned a lot this cleanse, this cleanse, I've learned to not Take shit like that with a grain of salt. So this cleanse, I learned to distance myself from people right away. I learned that shit, y'all. Like, as soon as, like, somebody rubbed me the wrong way, as soon as you don't come through for me, as soon as I find out you lying to me, I learned to distance myself because I asked God for discernment. He gave me that. But what I didn't ask God for was to remove the vengeance after that discernment. Because although God is telling me, oh, this person is not for you, and I'm like, okay, God, I get it. This person's not for me. I'm not going to stop being around, around them. But how dare you not reach out? How dare you leave it at what it was? How dare you not be trying to apologize to me and tell me over and over again how you're sorry for, for the way you treated me, what you did? How dare you not try to kiss my ass after everything I've done? So I thought I left you alone. How the fuck? And... and I, you gonna let me leave you alone? Like, ain't that, don't that sound fucking crazy? I know, I know, I know. I fucking know. I really don't want to start the video off this way. I want to like clean up and go along as I talk about it. So let's let's keep talking about it, and I'm gonna like keep like getting stuff ready for all these different trips. <laughs> so yeah, I am on my way to Walgreens. 
to get some fucking Carmex for my lips. Carmex, Bliss Tech, Neosporin, lip oil, whatever. The way I was been biting at my lips has really been fucking ridiculous. Y'all should see the way I have this <laughs> camera nigga rig up to this fucking um thing. But I am on my way to Walgreens and Chick-fil-A to get fries. So y'all know I've been a vegetarian for um, 90 days this past 90 days. Well, almost 90 days. What's the day? 84? What's 90? 86? It's like day 86, 87, whatever. But I've been a vegetarian for these past 90 days. But what I did for this week only, um, ooh, look at the police just right there. What I'm going? 45? Um, 45? But um, I I want is this? I'm pretty sure this has got to be legal. Like this camera's got to be legal. It's um, like it's not blocking my mirrors. But um, I've been vegetarian for many days. But for this week, I decided to um do only fruits and vegetables. Right, hard. But like, I've been eating. But do not say I can still do like um eggs. I can do another protein. But I can do eggs, cheese, like dairy stuff like that. That way I can make, at least make like vegetable omelets and shit. So I was doing that um all week. At least some told me, like, I don't know. Yeah, I did not know that potatoes were vegetables. <laughs> Boy, when I found out that potatoes were vegetables, bitch, I've been eating French fries this whole week. Like, I know I'm not talking to people, right? But this whole week, I also um, can't spend any money. Like, if I needed some on Amazon, I couldn't buy it. Because some most of them, I don't be needing shit. I have a, a steam cleaner, some downy um, wrinkle shit. That I don't even use it. I, I opened the box like fuel stops. So just damn, I need some gas. So um, I looked at all that. I'm like, damn, I don't even need um this shit. Like, when I got two big old bottles of Downy Wrinkle Release. I mean, that's because I was gonna do like a um like a video of me like like on some Jackie Iron and shit. Um, steaming my sheets, like getting the wrinkles out my sheets and shit. I wonder with the um steamer work without the wrinkle. I mean, with the wrinkle spray work without the steamer. Because I do want the wrinkles out, but I don't feel like actually steaming it. That's what happens when you try to be like other people. You end up wasting money. Be yourself. And I am a wrinkly be wrinkled bad bitch. So, that's um, stupid. But yeah, yeah, I found out that potatoes were a, a fucking fry. I mean, f potatoes were a um, fucking bitch, a vegetable. Fuck. <laughs> I figured out that uh, potatoes were a vegetable. And I'm like, fuck, I've been eating fries, y'all. Like, for dinner, the last two nights, I went to Culver's, and I got, I got the fries with broccoli and cheese. So, I had me a, a, a fried cheese broccoli, bitch, fiesta, fiesta. It was good as fuck. I put the, I put the fries in the pal, put the cheese on top, and I put the broccoli on top of it, and I used a fork, and I was, yep. That's what I should get again. But I think this time I'm just going to Chick Fil A. I'm not, but y'all already said I'm going to Chick Fil A. I'm just going to Chick Fil A and just get a fry, a large fry with barbecue sauce. What I didn't know, I didn't know some people cook their fries in fucking um in fucking beef beef stuff. So and I I don't know what made me like ask that even ask that question. But I was like in um where was I at? I was. At Popeyes, I was like, let me see if they, because you know, McDonald's, they got like some type of beef shit for their fries. So I said, let me try Popeyes because they're ghetto. So I would, I would guess that Popeyes also have some ghetto shit like that. And they did. So I couldn't get no fries from, um, um, what's that called? Popeyes. So I said, fuck it, y'all. I have to stop parking and handicap as I swirl around and park. But I, only way I don't park in handicap is if it's like if it's only one spot left. If it's like all the spots are open right here, so I park in handicap because if two old people pull up, they definitely gonna have somewhere to park. I'm uh, yeah, I swear, I swear I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Oh yeah, I haven't door dashed all week, so this whole week as well I could not door dash. So I haven't door dashed nothing all week. Uh, daughter said we gotta go get it again. Door dash not fixed yet. No. And I don't think they ever like, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. When I tell you, I ne I haven't been to the grocery store this year yet. Like, I have not went to the grocery I have not physically took my feet and went to the grocery store. 
So I decided to go to the um, grocery store because I couldn't do DoorDash. So I had to get some stuff, right? It was so many vegetarian options in the fucking freezer aisle that I was honestly pissed at myself because I didn't even give myself the chance to be a vegetarian outside of fucking Chipotle and, and French fries and, and, and impossible burgers from every fucking way. I know I was getting impossible burgers from everywhere. I didn't give my chance to be an actual vegetarian. I didn't go. I went to tacos for life. Actually got me some tacos, some eggplant tacos. Yeah, it was good. I had got three of them, but once I got the third one, I was like, this shit is fake. <laughs> so, I, I really robbed myself of the opportunity to eat new foods and try new things um, by not going to the grocery store, being very basic, eating fruits, vegetables, eggs, omelets, pastas from different places, not cooking my own meals. Even though, like, those are pre-cooked, they frozen meals. Like it was, um, you could, you could sit, put them in an the oven. They had like a spinach, a spinach pasta souffle, like, and it looked good. But right now I'm not eating pasta, so I, I can't even eat it. So, but yeah, I know when I'm off my cleanse, I am doing, um, when I'm off my cleanse, I am doing pescatarian, but I low key might just stick to vegetarian. I'm going to write a plan out either tonight or tomorrow, um, or, or even Tuesday. I have to write out exactly what I'm going to do from now on, from, from for the rest of my freaking life. Uh, this is the weekends. I said, I said, if I'm in St. Louis on the weekends, I can eat like certain stuff, and I might just do that as pescatarian. And I might be able to drink like cocktails on the weekend, but um, I still can't. I can still only do champagne, wine during the weekdays. No liquor, no well, no alcohol. Um, I can do everything out of town. Bounce my ass. I said look like cute, well, <laughs> but uh, bounce my ass. But um. But I, I, I have a lot of restrictions in order to maintain my, my body, my uh, my happiness, my peace. Um, honestly, I have been looking into getting my hip dips filled. I know I said I wouldn't do surgery again, but as long as I do another tummy tuck again, I should be fine. Because the way these bitches with BBLs pop out, like, like all they have to do is fart and, and they gang that ass, bitch. But I do want my hip dips filled, which means like I'm still gonna be able to sit down. It's not they said that's like one of the easiest things to do, like hip dips and like kind of like lipo and shit. So I definitely want to like do a fat transfer to my hip dips. That way I can like fill my hips up because I feel like the only reason I don't care for my results right now, my stomach is flat. It's not as flat because it still gets swollen, but it's flat. But like when they took their lipo out of my waist, oh, you could see the difference. I have before. The reason I can't really show my before pictures is because why would I have a wedgie like that? Yeah, the wedgie I have up my fucking ass in my pictures. I sit there like I didn't care no way. This because when I realized I wanted to have surgery, I literally got up out of my bed. It was like two, three in the morning. I text my cousin two in the morning like, "Cause I think I'm gonna go ahead and get get the surgery, get the tummy tuck, blah blah." blah. I really just wanted light bulb at first. So when I went in there, they need the pictures. I sent in my pictures. It was literally in the middle, and I got a video. I had recorded a video. That I took screenshots of the video, and I was just watching it recently. I'm like, why would you have half of your panties in your ass? And then you know you can tell when you just wipe wipe something on the side of your um pants or something like that. Like, why was I? I had on them purple wait a minute. That purple wait a minute set. They had like the the wait a minute panty. So you like you could keep this like cute lounge, or she could lounge around in it as well. Yeah, that bitch almost crashed. You need to watch where you're going. So if I would park in that handicap spot, that probably would never happen. This is not this is not the usual one I park in. But um sorry. But um it was that wait a minute. Um purple said she dropped a while ago. Um uh, it came with like the bandu. Oh, okay, anyways, anyways. It looked like I had like eating hot Cheetos or something hot. Or it could have been daughter. She always smacking my ass, but in a in a mommy daughter way, I smack my mama ass. I smack all my siblings' ass. Am I ass man? I'm really not. I smacked all my niggas' ass too. Every nigga I had, I was smacking that ass. Hmm. Anyways, <laughs> but um, it was like a Cheeto stain on on the pan. I'm like, what was I doing this day? Like, why is everything going on? Like the the wedgie pissed me off. But my body, I was so big. Oh my god, my stomach, my waist, my back fat was terrible. Like the boy, when I put the before and after picture together, I was like, I cannot show this. Like, I was like, I can't show this. No, <laughs> no, but um, uh, 
But yeah, so I, I really, um, I be going everywhere. My topic, y'all know it's the ADHD. But yeah, I really ride myself of not, um, being able to eat more foods and do more things with my, um, vegetarian journey this year. So, I mean, this, um, 90 days. So, I think I am going to probably do just vegetarian while I'm in St. Louis and maybe pescatarian on the weekends. And then I could eat, go crazy. And when I'm out of town, I think I'm going to do that. So I was going to just do pescatarian, but baby, I would eat shrimp, salmon, crab legs, which is still expensive as shit. So I think I'm going to just do vegetarian on the weekdays. And then, um, pescatarian on the week, on the weekends. But is the weekend going to start on Friday or Saturday? Is this just like Saturdays and Sundays? Or is it like, I might start at Friday for dinner. Friday dinner, and I can start the pescatarian, and it will end Sunday dinner. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it like that. Okay, let me go in Walgreens real quick. Um, Give me something for my lips. Um, And then we're going to go to Chick-fil-A. I got the track hanging. This is the pink lemon wig. Bobby, right back. Baby, I got it. Oh, I thought this was in my car, boy. I see them fly. Oh, this is gonna burn a little bit. I got the medicated ballistic. I ain't never had to like buy no ballistic. But now I can't cover up my lips. I can cover up my um my nails. Stop biting my nails by covering up with pressing um press ons. But like you know, you just. And I'll be noticing my bad habits quick. When I stopped, like, eating certain stuff, I started biting at my nails. I'm like, why am I biting my nails? Even if I wouldn't bite them, I would pick at them. So I started ripping them off. And they said it's like a, a stress reliever. Like, when you feel it pull off. I know that sounds crazy, but, yeah, I am a little crazy. So then I started biting. When, when I'm thinking now, I started biting my nails because my nails cover. I started biting my lips. Like, it's just a lot. I had a five-pack because it was cheaper than getting just one. Fuck. I'm gonna add a little, add a little Carmex on top, cause why not? Yeah, know they get up in there. Got cousins today. Okay, now we are going to Chick Fil A, which I am going to have to wipe all of this off my lips in order to um, eat it. But I'm just gonna get a large fry, nothing major. I could go ahead and get a salad from there. Last time I got a salad fry, I was pissed because it had bacon crumbs in it. And I I couldn't pick the bacon crumbs out. Like, I was just like, let me just throw this shit away. But I asked, also, I got spinach. Um, I got all the toppings full of salad at home. So, why waste my money, right? Right. I'm not going to spend the money anyways. Uh, unless it's for food. Didn't mention that, but if, I, if it's food, I can spend my money on. Bliss takes this health related, okay? I get my fucking um, teeth done soon. I ain't trying to have me look like a bum bum, bitch. But, um, this new season of my life is going to be called Unaccessible. Unaccessible. I was trying to figure out what's, like, my major issue with, like, me as a person and, like, how I say I give a lot and how I do a lot. Um, not even, like, and it, it don't even on purpose. I don't be thinking about it as, okay, bitch, I'm gonna get some gas. Probably tomorrow. Mm. Now I'm going to stop getting some gas. I don't be thinking about it as much um, when it comes to, like, the type of person I am. But I, I feel like I am easily accessible. And I feel like that's why I'm not, um, I, I don't even want to say treated a certain way. Like, I was accessible because I didn't want people to think I was better than them. I didn't want people to think that I was, um, like, shallow or 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 big headed or not humble so i found it easier to just like okay well let me prove that by making myself a little more accessible so that people won't think i'm like you know doing the most type shit like that's that's literally how i felt at the point and then me and me doing it i feel like okay well now that i am being accessible to you you have to make yourself valuable to me so when once i am accessible and valuable to you and you don't give that back to me i feel like there, there's no point of us having a relationship and, and buy but i should have never been accessible to certain people in the, in the first place and i have to um pick 
pick the people I be around more carefully. The only people that have yet to let me down is honestly people I've known for hella, except one person I've known for hella. Like, why would you lie like that? But, um, some people that I've known for hella in a sense, like, because, like, they, they just see me, they, they just know me, they know how I am, and they, they, they just do, like, and I don't feel, and I'm not easily accessible to them. Like, yes, they can text me, they can call me, but they can't be like, what you doing? Come over here, let's do this. Like, they, they don't, they don't have the audacity. Not even the audacity. I'm sorry, I don't mean to say audacity. If y'all watch it. But they just be like, okay, my friend is busy. My friend is doing this thing. I'm not going to bother her with what I got going on, what I'm going through. They, like, they, they, they value that I am a hard worker. I am a mom. I'm a business owner. And my, my friends, the, the people who truly love me, see that and, and, and be like, I'm not gonna bother her with things that's going on with me. Like I know she loved me. I I know I love her. And if I need her, and they know for if, if my friends ever text me like, "Hey friend, I need you," like just 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 for some words of encouragement and shit like that. Oh, I got that. I got that. That's easy. I, I, I'm doing that regardless. I'm doing that regardless. Like you know, like even if I see them being sad on like social media, like hey friend, just reaching out because I was like this is net. But um, that that's them. But the people that I I look back on, who I um gave more of myself to, it was never the people that I've always been around. Like it was never people that I've um I've grown up with. It's always people that newly come around. That that's a part of the Dom Galore phase. Like a lot of people who don't be around Danielle. Like a lot of people don't know Danielle. I had to start making myself accessible to people just because um I think they're cool. Cause why? Like, oh, this person cool. This person got a nice personality. Duh, they're gonna have a pers nice personality to you. Duh, they're gonna be cool to you because you're valuable. But how do they treat people in their everyday life? How do they act around people that they so called love or people that love them? I know somebody who, like, I, I thought she was real cool. Then I heard about some shit she did. Fuck them, like, what the fuck? Or oh, I had a friend who always, like, showed favoritism towards me. He always wanted to be around me. He always they said nice things to me. But when it came to our old friends, what? Well, my still my friends but like his old friends and with the things that he would say about them and regarding it would be like how do you feel this way about them and we all talk to each other the same way like it, it baffled me how much like he would show favoritism towards me and uh, at the end of his clothes valuable the people who hang around is because they're semi valuable to him but hold on y'all finna um, get my food hello i am truly a big beast because i don't have extra large fries I got a large fry and a small fry. We're not going to talk about that, though. Okay, not too much, at least. But, yeah, basically, um, this is, like, my unaccessible era. So, in regards to people that I don't hang around, I know I I don't have many friends. Like, I don't have, like, I have friends. Let me not say that because my friend Cynthia came up to me at my book launch party with a drug-ass speech about how I said I have no friends. I said, friend. I said, I have no best friends. She's like, but still, because you know you could call me, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh my gosh, shut up. But, like, I don't have a lot of, like, um, super close friends. They're, like, um, in a sense of why, like, I have somebody to talk to every day. And I was also talking to my uh, brother Shamar and Daisha um, the same weekend at my book launch party. And I was just talking about, like, how I had um, this one friend. I feel like we were we were so close i had never been that close to somebody before without it having to be like other times i have i said i had best friends um we were we were roommates we were were next door neighbors in college we were around each other 24 7 because technically we had to be we were roommates like so i i put certain people like saying they were my best friend at the time because honestly of our circumstances even though after college we we still were close, we were as close in a sense. Um, and now I'm, I'm not friends with them at all, <laughs> so it's like that's crazy. Well, it's not that crazy because life happens. But I only have one person in my life that where I did everything with. I did everything with her. I can't recall something we did. And granted, we were only like close for a year like a like an entire year we were close as fuck i had to realize a lot about myself in that year like i like a lot of the way i am now is owed to their friendship because without everything i've gone i went through a lot in their friendship a lot of bad stuff but a lot of good the, the love i felt from her and the love, even the love we was giving each other that that was a, a great friendship i'm not gonna lie to you like i'm not like I, I cannot take that away from um our relationship but 
the fact that we did everything together and not just we oh we party fuck we partied we club we did that shit Eh, eh. We 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 did that shit. Boots and bottles. Boots, baddies and bottles, bitch. That was us. What what niggas bought what? Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, it was always us. Like that was the lifestyle we was living, of course. But in regards to daughter, my daughter loved her. She was at my house all the time. I'm joking with her parents. She she's cool with my siblings. Like I I have yet to like honestly even wanted i had never wanted to be around somebody that much in my life and i even wanted to because like it wasn't a want it wasn't a need, it wasn't forced i have never in my life spent hours on the phone with a woman <laughs> like like you know like i was literally on the phone with her for hours we live in the same city but i was 40 minutes away granted because i live far as fuck on the phone not talking about nothing just said it out of nowhere somebody will say something and then the next person will, will, will say something comment on it then blank on the phone doing our hair like just just i have never communicated i know i look super happy that was a great that was a great um time in my life and i really appreciate it but i have never w loved or cared about somebody enough to be around them that much so when i think of a, a best friend that's what i think of that's why it's hard to recall any other of my past friendships as like best friendships because i never had somebody that i wanted to be around with free like willingly but so it's it's hard for me to think about it's hard for me to see other people go in traffic because i'm a nice person it's hard for me to like be close to people because i don't necessarily enjoy a lot of people's company when you have like and it, it all comes down to personality i feel when you have a personality i can tolerate and it's really hard for me to be around certain people's personality okay because a lot of people aren't authentic so when i be around somebody and they hurt have personality and they're not filled with like past traumas and and, and they're working like like they, they they ready for life have a zest for life and just like I, I don't know how to explain what a good friendship is because i've only had it once i've had a, a, a friendship that close only once I, I loved my, my past friendship that I'm speaking about, but we, we were missing a lot of things that um, were supposed to help me grow. It, it helped me be a better person because it made me grow. That friendship made me grow, but I knew I wouldn't be able to grow with her because we just lived two we had two different missions in life like my mission in life and her mission in life was not the same so like to come across somebody who have like that, that same authenticness like raw personality and just themselves 24 7 but also have like like god in their life and and and, and a, a mission that they want to complete in their life and things that they're doing that would be like like 10 times better so i am not really i can't really say that i'm against making new friends because i'm not like well, i hate that it's on the side with the fuck up too why is you know what i'm just fuck up i'm not against making like new friends or being closer to anybody that's that's not what i'm saying i that's not what i'm saying at all like i i just don't want to i don't want it to be like an awkward get to know you stage like hey i hope you can be my best friend one day like i think you're cute we're cute i don't want it to be an aesthetic thing I want to be two people with their own personalities who enjoy each other's company want to be around each other because when i tell you me and that bitch hung out we went to dinner one time with each other we went to dinner one time with each other and saw each other probably four days out the week every week until a, a, a couple months before we stopped talking until until like my second um 90 day cleanse that around that time i'm telling you so to be able to um find um someone who is not even like that because I, I want this person to be a, i want my next friendship to give me a completely different feeling then i was turning into my complex i was like hold on you, you everybody seeing where i'm living living but um i, I want somebody who can bring me a, an entirely different like aura new sense of self you know but um 
Because I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like I crave friendship more than I crave relationships. I, I crave, like, um, genuine friendships more than I um, crave relationships. Like, and that, and that's, but that's just me. I feel like that should be a lot of women. I feel like that shows. I'm, I'm just a girl's girl. I don't, I don't care to have a man. <laughs> I want a man to with you. <laughs> but I, I, that's not, even having a friend isn't my main goal right now. But I feel like it would, having a, 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 a friendship, like a close friendship, a best friendship would do better for me than like being in a relationship you know like and like but i just don't know Where, wherever life takes me is where life takes me but I, I i am in my unaccessible era so if you close to me now good but if not and i come across somebody it's gonna be a it's gonna be hard for me to be like friend <laughs> like for real so we always play friend hey girl like you cool i think you cool you, you wanna you wanna like bitch you know you, you know but my i don't want my chick for like getting cold i got me an ice water too because i'm healthy but no i, I could really only drink water this week but did you give me a straw oh it's in the bag but yeah i'm gonna go here and let's see if i can get this house clean um Probably gonna watch Million Dollars Worth Again with Deion Sanders. I love Deion Sanders. I'm when I can buy stuff again, I already put it in my cart. I'm gonna buy his book off Amazon. Love Deion Sanders. Think he's a, a great guy. So I can't wait to read his book. I didn't finish three. One, two, three. I'm on my fourth book sent for my for my cleanse. That's not my own. Um, and then his um book gonna be my fifth book. So I should finish this other book by tomorrow, if anything, Monday. And I'm gonna start Deion Sanders book um literally on Tuesday night. Probably actually the first day of my cleanse, Wednesday morning. Off my cleanse Wednesday morning. So let's see if I can clean some house. I think I'm gonna chill today and clean tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. That sounds more refreshing. And it's my last day. Let's chill. Well, Sunday is for chilling. But I'm already chilling now. Yeah. It is now 7.34. And it's time to eat my last meal. So I don't think I said this. Um, If I did. Oh, fucking well. But the last day of my seven day um hiatus is Sunday tomorrow. And I told myself that I wasn't going to eat the entire day. So I'm going to fast. Well, for 24 hours, the only thing I'll be doing is, um, the only thing I'll be doing is drinking water. I'm trying to think, yeah, it's really smoking here because I have the wrong aisle on for a minute, but I'm boiling eggs to go with my salad. But the, um, but the reason I'm doing this, I just, I don't know, like, I want to like, see it closer to God, but I don't. Like, want to go to heaven. Like, I want to die. But one day, it's not going to hurt me. So, I just want to, like, eat nothing tomorrow. Um, um, watch no TV. And after 8. So, I'm thinking, should I do, like, 8 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then eat after 8 p.m.? Should I just not eat for a full 24 hours? Like, from 8 p.m. tonight until, like, 8 p.m. tomorrow. And then eat tomorrow night and have, like, my last meal of my hiatus. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's do that instead. Okay. Cause like I can eat after eight because this whole week I was supposed to not eat until, well, no, that's, that kind of defeats the purpose, right? No, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not gonna eat until eight p.m. tomorrow, um, and I'm gonna use it as my like thank you guys for this week type of meal. My last supper. That's dramatic as fuck. I'm, I could not be trying to be so dramatic, but it just be coming off that way sometimes. But. I have been, I am going to eat a spinach salad. I'm trying not to make sure I don't get nobody house in here. See, so I can't like try to check down my address. <laughs> but, barbs. But, um, but I'm just gonna eat a spinach salad. I make a very big salad. I only got a little bit of spinach left anyways. But I think tomorrow for my own last supper, I'm gonna um, do like pasta. Yay. My, uh, Cause I said I wasn't eating like I've been only fruits and vegetables this whole week, so I'm gonna eat pasta tomorrow as my last supper. As my gift tonight, eating for a full 24 hours. I'm um, starting her ABCs the other day. Yeah. But, um, spinach. Wow, I thought it was gonna make me a big old salad. I'm gonna eat all this. It's gonna be a little bit of, it's gonna be a little bit of spinach. 
Um, a little bit of spinach. I got some ranch. Oh, this ain't light. This ain't light. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Make sure. I got ranch, boiled eggs, cheese. Yeah, I have fallen in love with feta cheese. I absolutely love feta cheese. Like, and it's only a little bit of, I eat feta cheese with omelets. Like, I love feta cheese. I didn't know feta cheese was that good. Fuck with me, feta. I got some feta, and then I got some cucumbers, and I got some tomatoes. I got them eggs on the height. What's the highest it go to? Number eight? I got it on number eight. I'll come out on um, cucumbers up and put them in here with this because, like, I don't have no aluminum foils to store them. Blah, blah, blah. What time is it? It only takes me about five minutes to eat it and literally five minutes to make it. It's really about the eggs. So it's 7.38 now. I probably take the eggs out around like 7.43 to let them cool down. But the prep for everything else don't take so long. All I do is cut the cucumbers in fours. I let the tomatoes stay how they are. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I'm going to eat for a full 24 hours. Um, I have these cupcakes from daughter well i bought them for her y'all these look so fucking good when i am off my clean because i don't have had sweets either like i haven't had no sweets the most i had sweet is a neutral grain bar and they be so fucking thick bitch why is it more grain than fucking strawberries in the middle fuck <sighs> but i got these cupcakes i said i was only gonna eat one that's like, like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drink a glass of champagne and these cute little gold champagne flutes my sister got me for my um book launch party. It's really cute. They say Barbie on it, but she didn't like see that at first, but it's still cute. And they got pink on it. So it's really cute fucking champagne flutes. And I'm gonna eat one cupcake. And this is gonna be for my breakfast. <laughs> That's gonna be my breakfast for um Wednesday. Or whatever. Uh, probably, actually, I mean, I'm, hopefully it's nice and sunny outside so I can enjoy it on the patio. And it's 12 a.m. But probably not because it costs so much and I have to call my bank to tell them to give me some more money or let me use some more money. At 12 a.m., the day of my cleanse, I have to fucking um, hurry up and order all of my shit. I am wearing an all Javinci outfit for my, um, for the court side. Because you know you're saying court side, so you got you got you got you got so I'm, uh, I, both of us wearing Javinci now. I think about it. But I'm wearing an all Javinci outfit. Well, I'm, I got a marine steering like jacket, but I'm wearing it as a shirt. Some True Religion um, booty shorts, but they ain't showing a booty. It's kids at basketball games. Not that I give a fuck. It's not my kid. My kid see more ass than that, but I'm be a little respectful. Fuck it. But um, some True Religion shorts that I want to have a Javinci belt, Javinci boots, Javinci necklace, earrings, and purse. All of that together is probably about fucking seven thousand. The amount of money I'm going to spend the first day off my cleanse is honestly disgusting, and I don't give like I don't give a fuck like, and that's all I'm gonna buy. I know I said I wanted four Chanel bags for my birthday. I'm um, get my teeth done. That's three three pussies in an asshole. If somebody wants some Gucci, I'm oh, just kidding. I'm just kidding, you two. But that's about. I am so mad. Look at this amount of lettuce. What is this? What is this? This is, yeah, I could eat this in, in three bites. I'm gonna have to save one of them boiled eggs. This ain't nothing. That ain't, that ain't nothing. But um, I'm gonna have to sell some ass to get this money back. But. I, I, I've been thinking about that outfit for the long. Sorry, do an outfit I was gonna buy. My wig come hopefully sometime this week because I wanted that wig probably like two, three weeks ago. It was a hundred dollar, twenty four inch, two hundred fifty density wig of AliExpress. I love going to AliExpress still for her. So don't because Amazon be boosting up their prices for certain shit, and I just rather just go to the store. That's where everybody get their shit from, anyways. AliExpress, Alibaba, Ali, the bitch named Ali is where they get their shit. I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, I think I'm looking for more spinach. None. There, there is none. What time is it? Seven forty-two. But I am um um almost done with the hiatus tomorrow. Got a lot of money to spend when I'm off. Excited for the LA trip. Super, super excited for that to have fun there. Um, but this cleanse has been very, very. 
Whew. Usually I have a, a big old like, hey, I doing this cleanse. And, like cause I, my first cleanse, I made six figures after sixty days. My second cleanse, I made six figures after sixty days. This cleanse, I have spent so much money from the party to the books to the to the rent to the teeth. Hell yeah, actually. Well, no, that's three months because I make a month. So no, I haven't spent more money, but I could have had more money. Now I had thought about these teeth, um, this this book launch party, the book period, the publishers, paying for all this stuff plus paying rent every fucking month is where I went wrong in this cleanse because I wasn't supposed to do shit like that. Like that's another thing I learned about my dream when I said I had my dream or whatever. I learned that I have to put me first and I cannot continue to put other people first just because I know that it's beneficial to them. I was just watching the um, Millionaire, um, not Drake Champs, Million Dollar Worth the Game, was Jesus. Million Dollars Worth the Game, I was just watching that, um, and not Wallow, Gilly, he said, if, if, if God didn't give it to you, why I gotta give it to you? And that's every, when I, when he said that, I went back into my life and everything that I gave, and like even even more than like materialistic thing like with my time, my attention things too. I was like, why the fuck did I give all of this? Like you know. So um, my plans um really really taught me that like that that dream really taught me that if I don't put myself first and my circumstances first and like how I want to live first, I will forever be low-key living a false life but even going out of my way to do things for people um just because i can like i i just i won't do a lot anymore like, because there's people who are okay with taking especially if their life fucked up like giving to people who life is already in shambles Ooh, bitch, what time is it? Let me show you. giving to people who life is already in shambles and fucked up they don't they don't care if like Y'all don't talk no more. Y'all not cool no more, or, or or none of that shit. Like they don't care no more. But they got what they want. That's what they needed. They doing better now. Blah blah blah. It is what it is. So, but oh, this is gonna burn. I just took it off and it's just like that. But but yeah, y'all. Today has been an eventful day, and I'm just glad that it's almost over. My last meal for the next 24 hours. Um. I'm not really sure if this vlog going to lead to something else. If it's going to lead until tomorrow if I'm going to edit this. I think I'm going to edit this tonight. My counter is clean, bitch. I cleaned my kitchen yesterday. The daughter's like, can you sit with me? I said, are you going to clean the kitchen? She got some, mm, you can clean it. Yeah. I'm going to say yeah. You. <laughs> but yeah. So I, this how Edison has taught me a lot. I know people worried about me and stuff like that. Like my phone been on airplane mode this entire time. Like I um end up, I forgot. I think I went on my phone to talk to my baby, um, baby daddy. I'm sorry, saying baby mama to talk to my um baby daddy because he had to get her or whatever. And I end up seeing like people send me messages, seeing if you alive. My bitch is on, my bitch is on some um just calling doing my weekly check in. But I know you don't know how it is. Then why the fuck are you calling me? Just send your text message. And if you see this, why would you call me if I told you I didn't want to talk to nobody? But, um, but I know everybody worried about me. I text my mama because Daisha sent me her money. I saw I, I talk to Daisha. I said, I'm on a, I'm on a, um, hiatus. I'm going on a hiatus. So, I know you got to send me the money for, um, my birthday trip. But just, just send it. Like, PayPal sent me a notification anyway. She just sent it. Hadn't heard from her. She didn't say sent. I told her to put, I told her to put a little fire alarm emoji. If it's the emergency, some shit like that, but and I text my mama, I was like, um, can I send it on PayPal? Just so I can see if I can send it on PayPal. And then she's like, ah, you back? I was like, no. Motherfuckers don't listen. I said a week. So that's on Saturday. I'm just playing. But uh, I'm literally just putting all this together. What time is it? 749, y'all. It takes me six bites to eat all of these, like for real. Here you go, some cheese. Put some cheese on it. Yeah, I, I do eat a lot of cheese on my shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. Eat some cheese on it. Does it look good? Can I see that? A little cheese on it. 
hit it with the feather. The feather almost gone, so I think I'm gonna use all of this. Yeah, it's almost gone. I really like the feather on my um omelets. Come on, bitch. You know, be on the time crunch. Ugh. I just think this was rat cheese. That shit hot than a bitch. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit hot. Got like a candle over there. What time is it? 750 on the dollar. As long as I'm eating my 755. <laughs> oh, that shit hot. Ah. <sighs> that shit hot. Y'all see it smoking? Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm trying to show y'all it's smoking. Y'all should be killing it, motherfucker. Ooh, okay. I really don't care for the yolk in um my egg, but I'm not. I don't. I, didn't, I'm not, I don't have time to just do all that, so I'm just gonna add it up in there like that. That look good, y'all. With no meat, that still look good. Time is it? 751. Let's see if I could do another one. I know that's a lot of egg, but I ain't gonna eat for 24 hours. Yeah, I know egg make you full. Woo, shit, that's hot. Shit, that fuck. Damn. I did not clean my house today. I was watching um different like motivational um speakers. I did Deion Sanders, um, million dollars worth of game. I was watching the Cardi B one. Ooh, shit. I watched Suki and Bobby um, interview. I said no TV tomorrow, but The Walking Dead. Um, I, could, I could watch The Walking Dead with my meal. Ooh, yeah, what time is it? Said 51 still. Because this shit is hot. Why this one peeling like that? Oh, my gosh. I don't want no shells in my shit. I don't like the way that's peeling. Oh, my gosh. Because now it's taking me longer just to fucking peel it. Oh my gosh. Did the shell just go in there? Oh my gosh. Cause I was gonna eat the egg plain too. Oh if I got no time look, I'm gonna put that boiled egg down my mother. That's too much ranch. Oh, that's gonna be my stomach curse. That's too much ranch. 752. 752. 752. That looks good, didn't it? Yeah. Y'all be like, I don't cook. What's this? Prepping. <laughs> Basically prepping. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I do. I want these eggs open. I'm gonna eat these eggs. Yeah, that one. That one peeled like a like a good kid. I'm gonna eat that one on its own though. I'm gonna eat that one. I'm gonna eat that one when it's over. This one, I'm gonna act like a bitch. You gonna be a bitch? And it's taking off all the fucking the 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 white part. Clean up later, I'm clean up later. Eat now, eat now. Why am I good? Mm. So tasty. All right. I'll be back to close out this episode. Fuck, it's hot. 801, plate is done. Thanks for watching this video. I know I was everywhere today in the car. I like being in the car. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely like being in the car. I didn't get shit done in this house, but that's okay because I have tomorrow no vlogging. Uh, I'm doing editing right now. I'm finna just get get shit done right now, and I'm super excited to just even do that. So um, I will see y'all next time. Hopefully next time it'll be behind the scenes of my commercial. Hopefully, <laughs> whenever I post that. But love y'all. Bye.